Hello everyone, welcome to another Monday movie, I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week we'll be taking a look at how you can set up depth of field in V-Ray for 3D Studio Max. In the usual V-Ray style, it's very easy to do, so we'll be taking a look at some of the more advanced parameters that you'll need while you're setting up this kind of effect. So let's get started. I have a simple but elegant scene here, it's great for testing. We're going to see if we can focus in on just one of these pillars and have the others blur out gradually. I'm going to close my render, and under the V-Ray uh, Render Setup panel, under the V-Ray tab, I'm going to scroll down to the V-Ray Camera Rollout, and you'll find a depth of field group. All you have to do is turn it on. Now we're not going to take a render, and let me tell you why. Because the entire scene will be blurry. We haven't yet told V-Ray what it needs to focus in on. So what I'm going to do is click on Get From Camera, I'm going to minimize my render setup panel, hit hotkey T to go into the top viewport, and I'm going to select my camera. Now, when we use get from camera, that's going to allow us to use the target of the camera as the location on which to focus. So you'll notice right now that the target is focused in on this plane, this distance from the camera. I don't need to make any adjustment, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to hit hotkey C takes me back to my camera, and let's take a render to see what this looks like. Alright, so that render took us about five minutes. Unfortunately, this image is way too blurry. We need to tighten up this effect and hopefully reduce the render time. Now there are two parameters that will do just that. If I open up my render settings panel again, and head over to the V-Ray tab, scroll down to depth of field. I can tighten up the aperture down to say 0.05. The lower the aperture value, the more of your image will be in focus. The higher the aperture value, the less will be in focus. In this case, turning it down very far will give us a nice crisp image with very subtle depth of field effects. I can also turn the number of subdivisions down. The fewer subdivisions means that the render will go faster. More subdivisions means that the render will be of higher quality. So I might turn this up if I was going to take a final render. Let's render this image one more time and see what our changes look like. Fantastic! Not only did we manage to take a minute off of our render times, but we finished this image with a very subtle, accurate depth of field effect. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.